here we go. Great uh, response to the truth about Valverde's crash. Bianchi, 1885, states Valverde would still be in the Velta if his team had insisted to Canyon that it supply rim brake equipped road bikes. And Akar says, how would a rim brake have saved him? Watch the slow-mo replay of how his rear wheel locked up and his front wheel when he braked too hard on his discs, which you can't squeeze too much. The same happen, the same can happen with rims, but you really have to squeeze hard. He is an old veteran raised on rims. He only switched to discs last season or so. This is very true. Uh, watch the slow-mo replays. A lot of channels have covered it. Lanton Rouge, Peddler, etc. It's been covered. And this is, you know, I'm 44 today. I've been racing bikes since, uh, road bikes since 1997. I can't learn about 35 high-end road bikes. I'm always wheeling and dealing, buying and flipping. I've ridden so many bikes over the last two decades. You know, I've trained with Valverde in the hills here in Adelaide. valverde has got some insane bike hanging skills. I remember him riding down Norton, uh, not Norton Summit, Gorge Road. I think it was 2009 or 2010, 2011. Um, riding down Gorge Road, taking a jacket off or putting it on or whatever. He was basically hands off the bars, 75 odd k an hour. And I remember just thinking, man, like, this is really freaking dangerous. But that's what you, that's a skill you need to have to be not just a pro rider, but to be a Valverde level rider. So the, Valverde's got insane skills. Now, would have rim brake saved him? I would say, we can't say 100%, but I would say most likely. You know, obviously there's so many variables there, but he hit the bump in the road, the dip. His hand slipped off. Ideally, he should have been in the drops. Everyone knows that. But the question here is, the debate here is, if he was on rim brakes and then he grabbed that brake so hard, like the panic you know, reptile hindbrain response from probably a million miles on rim brakes, his hand just reflex, just grab it. In, just as instinct. You can't really think. It's just instinct. He grabbed it like he would have a rim brake, like he's done many times, many thousands of times, maybe millions of times, you know, and so, too much brake, the wheels lock up, sliding. And so lucky he didn't do more damage. So lucky he missed that guardrail. So, so lucky. Disc brakes, in my opinion, in my experience, and every single World Tour rider I've talked with, people are like, who, 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 do not who? These conversations are off record. Many World Tour riders come to me with sponsorship stories, Pharmaceuticals, like this, this is all off record. I don't name names, all right, unless people want to go on record, but that's not how it works because you don't spit in the soup. You know, all the World Tour riders absolutely hate disc brakes for racing, for cyclocross, for mountain bike. Yeah, great. For road race, dangerous, absolutely dangerous. There's nothing wrong with Dura Ace or Shimano. Even SRAM or Campag calipers, rim brakes, nothing wrong with that. Good pads, you know, you know, nothing wrong with that at all. If you need more than that, then you got skills of a noob, and there's nothing wrong with being a noob. But please, noobs, don't try and tell us experienced riders that we're wrong, all right? You guys and girls are getting scammed by the bike industry, and we're just here trying to help. You know, I mean, I'm not really getting scammed, but you, you, you're getting sold these bikes that are heavier and slower and cost more to maintain. My rim brake bikes, I look outside, I can see my rim brake bikes in the sun. I can tune them, get them dialed with it's basically just a multi-tool, which I carry in my saddlebag. But I see hydro disc brake bikes, you've got to bleed and faff, and then it's the calipers. It's just a lot of head, head F. For you know, too much, too much for gravel and mountain bike. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot different. But for road where the speeds are higher, the margin for error is lower. The the crash damage is greatly in increased. I mean, you crash on gravel, that's sort of fun. You get up. You crash on a road bike, man. You can you can really you can kill yourself. You know, mountain bike, cross country, I crash every time we go out, just sliding out, just laugh, fun, smash off a derailleur, chuck a new one on from Facebook Marketplace from some barrister, you know, like, it's just easy. Road crashes. If someone said today, Harley, I want, to cr I want you to crash your road bike 10 times, 
I'm like, man, dude, what? If someone said, I want you to crash your gravel bike 10 times today, sliding out in corners, ripping it up on single track, you know. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever, so we can do that. We can slide it out in the corners and rock, drop the bike, whatever. You know what I mean? Disc brakes have no place in the world tour. They have no place. Every single pro rider agrees off record. Every single world tour mechanic hates working on road disc because they're so finicky. And the riders are so finical. Finicky. Watch the movie star documentary on Netflix. I'm surprised that made the edit cut. You know, I'm surprised that made the edit. Watch the Netflix documentary on Movie Star. Maybe someone can link it down below. That's very telling. And uh, that's as pretty close you get to the truth on a mainstream level. But please, noobs, we're just trying to help you. Stop saying we're wrong. And, uh, you know, you're critically thinking about our advice, but then the marketing department from Specialized or Cervelo or Trek or whatever comes along and says, no, no, no more rim brakes for you. You buy a disc now. You shut up and you buy. And you're like, okay, let me get on my knees. Let me put my hair tie on. Okay, I'm ready. You know what I mean? You guys are tripping, man. You guys are tripping. We're just trying, trying to help, all right? Trying to help. 